just can you tell me, you know, just for, and I'm just interested to know the different management styles yeah. between a puff, a Jay, a Dame, uh, uh, Keith Clayscale, and and what you learned from kind of each of them, and how you have used what you learned when you became a manager of people. Yep. Yeah, man. I, I talk about this a lot, actually. So, so um, you know, um, we'll, we'll start. So, so Keith and Lynn, um, really interesting, right? Because um, Keith is super smart, um, super cerebral. Um, but you know, he was he he was really kind of arm's length. Like he was the visionary of the business, and 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 Lynn Burnett was more like the politician, right? Like I remember walking in to these advertising agencies with Lynn Burnett. And it was like being with the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Like <laughs> these old white women was fawning over him. Like yeah, and so and so you know, I, I think I learned a lot from both of them, right? But um, but like my Lynn is like you know the king of charisma, right? Um, and then I left there and worked with Puff, and Puff is just literally the hardest working person I've ever met in my life. Like and and you and and I know for sure no one will ever outwork him, um, and and I think the testimony to that is the career that he's built, right? Like the, the fact that he still remains today as relevant as he was, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, is a testament to the work ethic and the fact that, and the power of reinvention, right? He is focused on reinventing himself, so much so that he changed his name 15 million times, mm -hmm. so much so that he's done things that, you know, running the marathon and, and going on Broadway. Like he just, if, if you know, he, he because think about it, I mean, what would you call, I mean, I guess right now today he would be called mostly an entrepreneur, but at one point he was considered a musician and he really hasn't made music in years, but still is relevant in the music industry. Probably one of the most relevant people there is. And so that's, you know, he, so he's a king of, of reinvention, hard work. Um, anything is possible. Um, don't take no for an answer. Definitely got that from him. So, and, and I, and so when I, and when I talk about the Jay and Puff thing, because it's funny when I, I remember working with, with Jay and Puff calling me and being like, yo, you need to come back. You can't, <laughs> you can't be over there with them. This niggas is light skin, man. You ain't over there with light skin. You supposed to come back home with me, right? And so, so I, I liken J uh, Puff to he's he's um, Michael Jordan, right? He's the guy that worked hard as shit. He got cut from his sophomore from varsity his sophomore year and never forgot it and worked hard as hell to become the greatest of all time, right? Jay, on the other hand, is Muhammad Ali, right? He's Muhammad Ali, and and he moves like a drug dealer. He he his, he he. I, I would really be interested to to hear his instinct versus intention uh, scenario because, um, quite honestly, I think that he just lives by a code, right? And he and and he says no way more than he says yes. But whenever he says yes, it's culture changing and culture shifting. And and that and the power that he has is not lost on him. Like he's completely aware of it. He's been aware of it for a really long time. I think that at one point there was an arrogance connected to it, mm -hmm. and now I think that there's um, sort of a responsibility associated with it. I think he wants. To, I think he wanted to make history. So as I always talk about, you know, Puff wanted to make music, and then he wanted to make history. Um, I think Puff. I think Jay wanted to make history and now he wants to change the world, right? Um, and I think they're both, you know, because we're, we're all in the third quarter now. So I think they're both in that zone of just trying to leave the world a better place for, for their children and, and their children's children. And, and so, you know, that's Jay. Um, and then Damon Dash, man, I, I didn't get a chance to work for him that, work with him that long, um, but I was really, it's really interesting because I think that people see Dame and they see this brash bravado personality. And I think that's all, so that you don't ever get a chance to really know what an amazing person. Like he doesn't want, to want you to know how, because he's not, he's not letting, everybody's not allowed to get in. So that's, that's like, you know, that's the gate to keep people out, right? Um, but if you listen to the things he's saying, right, you can't, you can't argue with it. Like the large majority of the energy that he, that he exudes is necessary. And it's all about um, being comfortable in your own skin and not taking, you know, and not, and not taking no shorts, Right. And, you know, anytime a black man tells you he's great, it makes people uncomfortable. Right. Just inherently. Right. A black man tells you he's great. I don't care who it is. Muhammad Ali, LeVar Ball, 
um, uh, Floyd Mayweather, anytime, uh, anytime a black man tells you he's great, you know, they don't, they want us to be, um, you know, a little bit easier to digest. Right. Um, and, that's, and, and, and not to interject, but not just tell you, but believe it. Like, yeah. like when they say it, they believe I'm great. <laughs> like it's, I don't need your validation. I am great. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, so yeah, man, I, like I said, I, I um, and then, and then, you know, last but not least, because now I'm working uh, alongside a rich Dennis um, who, you know, you know, he, uh, he and Emmett, um, Emmett's, you know, Emmett Dennis, he's definitely my best friend in life. Um, you know, they, they uh, started, um, well, that really rich and his family and then, and then Emmett helped them take it to the next level. They started uh, Sundial and, and Shea Moisture and were able to sell it to Unilever for, for a ridiculous amount of money. Um, and so just like, just think about, just think about that progression, right? Like, you yep. know, Ethan Lynn to, to Puff to Jay, yep. um, and then now Rich, right? I feel like all of those experiences were sort of meant to inform the value that I could add to what Rich is trying to build. And what Rich is trying to build is all about, you know, empowerment and, and ownership and us owning this culture, right? Because the reality is that the impact that we provide to things that we don't own is, is almost criminal, right? Because no one else would do that, right? No one else would help build these things and not own a piece of them. And so what happens when we decide to take that energy and that impact and invest it on things that we own ourselves? Then, then you have the sundial selling to Unilever for, you know, a billion dollars or whatever yes. it is, right? And that's, and that's really the, the, the transformation. So, and I think that, you know, I met all of these people at the right times in their lives where we made sense for each other. Right. So I was, you know, I was in my, in my, uh, late twenties, um, like 25, 26 when I, when I worked with Keith and Lynn, I was like, you know, at the end of twenties, early thirties working with Puff. So I had the energy to do that because you need energy to run around with him and do all that. Um, I was, I was getting a little older and a little bit more subtle when I started working with Jay, which worked for him because how he moved, because he's, you know, he moves a little bit more, a little bit slower or more, or more measured than how Puff was running around. And then now with, with, with Rich, you know, you know, we're all, we're, we're, we're trying to do things. We're investing in the future, right? What, what, what the impact of what we do together, if done properly, will have an impact on the future. We might not even get a chance to see Correct. the fruits of it, which, is, which has got to be okay. Like, that's got to be okay. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.